Mitchell and Weber are a company with a rich history and today they are one of the oldest family-run oil companies in the country. Ever since Frederick Weber set up his Pacman's Round and Ernest Mitchell took over the family smithy, customer service and reliability have always been paramount. This short film looks back at how Mitchell and Weber was born and how they have grown into your local oil supplier, keeping you reliably warm. In 1891, Frederick Weber started selling lamp oil on his Pacman's Round. Joined by sons Eustace and Ned, they negotiated a deal with Palmolive to put an advert on the side of their truck, which paid for the road tax, and they got to work. Business was booming until, in 1927, disaster struck when the Truro premises burnt down, destroying all of their stock. But in a remarkable display of loyalty and public support, the people of Truro held a flag day and collected money to set up the business again. Progress continued despite the breakout of World War II. Frederick ran the business until sons Ned and Eustace returned from their duties and took over the reins. In 1954 they became Shellmex and BP authorised distributors known as Weber Brothers Fuel Services Limited. In 1901, in the small village of Bridge near Red Reef, Ernest Mitchell took over the family business as a blacksmith. Twenty years later, his son Bert bought a paraffin round in Perrinforth for £50, the start of the Mitchell story in distributing fuel. With a keen eye for the changing world, Ernest realised that horse-drawn transport was on its way out and began offering repairs for tractors and modern agricultural machinery. It was a wise move. Oil delivery and the forge complemented each other. Soon business spread around Camborne and Perrinforth, and in 1954 they also became Shellmex and BP authorised distributors. Alison Mitchell had been working for her father Bert for 12 years when in 1961 she married Roy Whedon, who became an important part of the Mitchell and Webber story. In 1966, Shellmex and BP asked the Mitchells and Webbers to work together expand and take over an authorised distributor of Falmouth, forming Mitchell & Webber Limited, and the company as we know it today was formed. They continued to fill the trucks in the Falmouth oil terminal and in 1977 Mitchell & Webber moved into their new offices in Falmouth. 1993 was a big year as Mitchell & Webber became standalone distributors and they moved into their own self-built oil terminal in Scoria. A capacity of 1.8 million litres allowed Mitchell & Weber to reliably supply their customers with oil and ensure they benefit from the best offers and deals, something that they're still proud to deliver today. Mitchell & Weber are very proud to be one of the country's longest standing family run oil companies. They consider it a privilege to be at the heart of a fantastic community in such a beautiful part of the world and to have such a strong relationship with customers in Cornwall and Devon. Like all businesses, Mitchell & Weber are constantly looking to the future to ensure that they provide their customers with the best service and value. Mitchell & Weber look forward to offering you a reliably warm welcome in the future. <laughs>